My wife has my phone. We are now in a full-blown national security crisis. Your wife just left me a voicemail. She thinks we're having an affair. Michael Flynn investigation still open, whoopsie face. President Obama wants to know everything we're doing. What is our goal? Get him to lie so we can prosecute him or get him fired. If your utter incompetence is not enough to run you out of office, then your increasingly obvious political corruption surely will tweet. I said we were close friends, nothing more. She knows I sent you flowers. Weasels and liars. God, Trump is a loathsome human. Tweet. 106.6 thousand likes. Hillary should win 100 million to zero. Did you get laid yesterday? You know how to get my attention. I truly hate these people. Trump's not ever going to become president, right? Right? No. No, he's not. We'll stop it. Unbelievable. You would think that that script was written by a Hollywood screenwriter for dramatic effect, but if you thought so, you would be thinking wrong because every word said in that trailer and the entire Obamagate movie was said by the actual people in the film. James Comey, Peter Strzok, and the FBI agents, CIA, everyone involved. The entire movie is taken from their texts and emails and other internal documents. It's called verbatim theater, and it's one of the favorite ways to tell stories by our next guest. You know who I mean. He's our favorite filmmaker, Fella McAleer, who joins us now via Skype from Los Angeles. Very exciting. Congratulations. We had you on a few weeks ago to talk about your plans to make this movie. Well, wham, bam, you made it, and it's already live, and people can actually see it for free on YouTube. Congratulations. Thanks, Ezra, thanks. A lot of your uh, viewers, by the way, were very helpful, uh, helped with the crowdfunding. Uh, we saw a huge uh, surge in, in donations from Canada after you kindly donated yourself. Um, I mean, people, there's a, there's a worldwide thirst for the truth, and the people recognize now the media are not telling the truth and are actively dissembling and telling untruths. So let's, you know, we conservatives are held to a higher standard. Um, truth tellers are held to a higher standard. So that's why verbatim is so useful. Every word you see here, in this film, in Obama gave them, is is 100% verbatim. It was uttered or written by one of the people uh, in, in the film. Huh. Uh, now, last time we spoke, it was when HBO was rolling out a massive high-budget propaganda film called The Comey Rule, and I've just never seen anything so transparently partisan, election meddling documentary. They claim, well, that's the thing. It claims to be a documentary, but unlike your work, it's not taken from primary sources. That is the work of fic fiction writers trying to uh, salvage their discredited, efforts so what a difference you've got the verbatim theater they had a multi-million dollar propaganda campaign how did hbo's movie the comey rule wind up doing well first night it got six hundred and seventy-five thousand viewers you know the first for the first night that's how much it's got uh we are now open 24 hours we have almost two hundred thousand viewers and it's rising every hour every day so we need to get, we need to, I want to beat the Comey rule. I want to get more than 675,000 viewers. It's tough. It's not easy, especially with YouTube throttling anything decent. But, you know, we, we seem to have beat them so far. So let's let's keep it going. But one thing I, will, I do want to say about the Comey rule, you know, uh, actually, it's not HBO, it's Showtime, but they're all the same. Oh, right? sorry about that. I got that wrong. So Showtime, that's right. It's understandable. They're, they're just one mass leftist conglomeration now it is merging with each other and all that um they see that knew that quote at the end trump's not gonna win is he mm -hmm. and it's no, we'll stop it right that is a direct quote from their texts that is the conversation they had whilst he was investigating trump uh 
for Russia collusion. So that's what he was planning. In the hits for you, in the, sorry, in the Showtime, the Comey rule, they have they, they they've changed that to a conversation between the two of them. Trump's not ever going to win, is he? And uh, Strzok turns to Page and says, no, no, he's not. We'll stop it. In the Comey rule, they then have Lisa Page going, oh, we, that's a bit much. And he goes, oh, no, no. When I say we, I mean the American people. Huh. That is a complete fiction. He never said that. That was never part of the conversation. These people are liars that we need to get the truth out there. That's why we put Obamagate on YouTube verbatim. Yeah, well, that's incredible. And we've embedded a copy of your YouTube video on our website, so you will still get the view count, um, but people can find it. I mean, you can find it in a lot of places. You can find it elsewhere on rebelnews.com. Uh, just out of curiosity, it's not important, but has YouTube allowed you to put ads on it? Because they, they often demonetize or other words, uh, otherwise de-boost or even uh, shadow ban uh, conservative uh, information they don't like. It's happened to us before. Have you seen any shenanigans by YouTube, Twitter, or other social media companies? Oh, well, I mean, funny, YouTube, so far, so good. No, nothing. Uh, Instagram, Instagram took down our Facebook, our Instagram account a week ago and have not put it up again. Just took it down, no reason, no, no. And we've written to them, oh yeah, we're looking at it, we should get it up, nothing. Twitter, Twitter are, are, are criminals. Twitter have hidden the word Obamagate. The reason we call it Obamagate because Obamagate was trending in May and April. It was 3.5 million tweets with the word Obamagate on it. You go into Twitter now and search for those in most recent. You get a couple of tweets about our movie and nothing else. Hmm. There are millions of Obamagate tweets out there and they're, they're throttling them. The social media behemoths, they're not our friends. They're not a platform. They are fully signed up political opponents yeah. and they need to be uh, recognized as such. And we all need to recognize that. Yeah. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day. Then I interview an interesting guest and then I read my hate mail. You got to subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.